to me. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Bumper here. Back today with an unboxing of the new album release of the David Cronenberg sci-fi body horror movie Videodrome. Okay, Videodrome was released in 1983. This album release is a new 4K scan of the movie with Dolby Vision. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out and seeing what it's all about. Okay then, come with me now and we'll unbox it. Okay, so here we have the Video Drone limited edition release from Arrow. This is the limited edition artwork as well. There's limited edition to, you know, buying it from the Arrow store. If you look closely, the picture of um, James Woods there is all nice and animated. So it looks really cool. Now, well, they've done the cellophane a bit different on these ones now, so it's easier to get off. So let's crack them open. Here we go. So as always, what we come to expect, a nice rigid box. If you want to take a look, there's your specs. So it's a brand new 4K restoration. Doesn't have Dolby Vision, just the normal Do Dolby Audio, but that's okay. All right. So first up then the Amory case. So same artwork as on the um, slip box. This is the inside. So there's your disc, nice picture disc. We'll have a look at the extras in a minute. See if there's any reversible art. I'm sure there will be with Arrow. Yeah, there we go. So it's a weird old school picture. I'm not sure which one I prefer. We'll go with the we'll go with this one because obviously we got the other one on the slip box, so you can have the best of both worlds, I guess. Okay, then. So there's the Amory case with the reversible art. Uh, we've seen all the specs on the slip box, but take another look if you want to. Okay then, Whoops, stopped it on the floor as always. All right then, some art cards, postcards, whatever you want to call them. They're just um, screen grabs on the movie. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six art cards. And then on the back, then it got the, the new design. Okay, then we got the poster. Looks like it's double sided. Nice thick material. Okay, so there's the new artwork. And then if we flip them over. Okay, we got this one in landscape, which I always prefer on a poster. Long live the new flash. And yeah, that's a cool poster. You've got some screen grabs on the side. First it controlled her mind, then it destroyed her body. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I quite like that poster. Like I say in all my unboxing videos, it'd be wicked if you could meet someone from the film and get the poster signed, then it'd be worth framing. Okay, so here's the booklet. Super thick as always. Let's have a look at the contents before we flick through. Okay, any names that I recognise? Obviously, obviously David Cronenberg. Alexandra Helen Nicholas. Yeah, she's always writing in these um, booklets for hours. She does good stuff. And then, yeah, just a flick through, really. Nice image there. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, so there we are. And that's your booklet. Okay, if you want to stick around at the end of the video, I will show some screens and all. i got a new tripod now, so they should look a bit better than the ones I used to do. Cheers. Okay, so there's your seal of approval here, the Arrow logo. Okay then, so we got Director's Cut, US Theatrical Cut. And then we got a special feature, so we got commentary with Tim Lucas on the Director's Cut. 
documentaries and featurettes, interviews, pirated signals, the lost broadcast, um, image galleries, camera and trailers. Okay, and then you've got your setup features as well. All right, so the choose version, we'll just go with director's cut. Give it a quick play. I know you can get um, a good kind of feel for how good the picture quality is when it's done through the phone. But you know, just have a little look and make sure it's not like a complete mirror of a transfer. We'll probably just skip into it a bit. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's got the grain. It's obviously, you can't really see it in the darks though, so it's not too heavy, so that's fine. Plenty of detail on the buildings and stuff. Let's try and find some facial detail. Seems a bit dark. Might be a bit dark for the phone, this one, but yeah, I mean, James Wood, he's, James Woods has got a um, bit of a bumpy complexion, like, so you can see it all really well. This yeah, the character detail looks brilliant. There was no Dolby Vision, uh, Dolby Atmos, sorry, but sound, sounds fine. So you can get anything in the light on faces. Yeah, here we go. So you can see all the textures in the coat. The cigarette smoke coming off the cigarette as well. I bet you wouldn't be able to see that on the VHS or the DVD, but you can just about see it now on the 4K. Can't see too much popping for HDR. There's some colours on the clothes, bit of blue on the guy's shirt there, and the woman's hat with the pinks and the purples in. Looks all right. Doesn't pop, but looks nice and clean. Yeah, okay, that looks really good. I'm looking forward to sitting down and watching this movie. Okay, so I'll leave it there, but I did pick up some more Arrow releases. So if you want to have a little look at them, I unbox them at the end of this video. Cheers. Okay, so moving on then. A couple more Arrow releases. The first one we got is Deadly Games. Okay, so I think this is a limited edition slipcover because I ordered it straight from Arrow. I don't know if it's got an alternative title like some of the um, limited edition slips have. Or if it's still just called Deadly Games and you buy it in HMV, I'm pretty sure it is. This might not be alternative artwork, the more I think about it. But um, yeah, maybe someone can tell me in the comments if they know. As usual, having a mirror trying to open it. Okay, there's a lovely slip cover. Just take him out. Oh yeah, so I think that's the artwork on the slip cover if you buy it in HMV, which is pretty cool as well. i got to be fair, I do like that artwork. All right, there's your... Specs and whatnot, 2K scan, DTS audio. Okay, so the usual arrow bump there. Got the reversible art, which is the same as the slip cover. So that's really nice, nice picture on the disc. And then we got the booklet because We've got the early pressing, the early limited edition release. So happy days. They're only thin booklets, but I mean, you know, it's just nice to have something to accompany the movie. Okay then, so that's the first release, that's Deadly Games. Then the next one we got is Raging Fury. Now I know this is an alternative slip with an alternative title because this movie is called Hell High if you were to buy it in HMV and it has got a different cover. Okay, so again we'll open this one up. I'll never learn to start these off pre-recording the video just so I can get my finger in there. Okay then, so that's Raging Fury. So again, another wicked slip cover. Open him up, yeah, and there's the alternative artwork then that you'll get on the slip if you buy it in HMV, which again is nice. It could even be nicer than the other one, but at least you get both with this edition. So there's your disc there with a nice picture on. Here's your alternative artwork inside, old school version. Okay, I do prefer the new one, so we won't be flipping that round or anything. And then we got your booklet then. So again, thin, but wicked artwork on there. 
and then just some bump about the movie and stuff then. All right, so I'm looking forward to watching this one. Hal High or Raging Fury. Let's put the disc bag in. Don't want to get any scratch before I watch it. There we go. Then the final one I got again, I got an alternative slip cover with an alternative title. So this is Beyond the Door 2, but this is also known as Shock. So I know a few people have bought this one recently and I've seen videos on it where they're all praising the movie. So I'm really looking forward to watching it. Again, if we can just get the cellophane off, we'll have a little look at the artwork on the Amore case. And no doubt it'll probably be the one that's in HMV with like the kids stood on the cover with like all the dream like purpley blue colours in the background. Okay. So again, wicked slip cover, wicked artwork. Here's the back. And then yet there's the cover that you would expect to see if you bought it in HMV. Okay, there's all your specs and stuff. Pretty sure it's directed by Mario Barber, is it, this movie? Or am I wrong? Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's Mario Barber. I'm find, struggling to find it on there, but yeah, I'm sure it is. All right, so we'll open him up. Here's the disc. Nice picture disc, as always. Remove the booklet. And the flyer, and then there's your old school alternative artwork. Actually, I do like this artwork on the inside, so I might switch this one around. What do we think? This one or this one? You know what? I'm going to take it old school on this because I have done with most of my other Italian horror releases with Arrow, so we'll flip him over. All right then, so that's been Shock. So I haven't seen any of these movies, so I look forward to watching all three. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Bumper, and I'll catch you soon.